Hello friends, this is Ali Ajwal, the love coach coming here for our day 28 of 30 day series of relationship with yourself. And today we are talking about minimizing your, um, your power of choice or allowing others to make decisions for you. This is one of the telltale sign of, uh, an unhealthy relationship with yourself when you feel like you can't really choose for yourself. When you have a hard time making decisions when it comes to you. Uh, when you wish other people can choose for you. When you go to a restaurant and you're like, hey, why don't you order for me? Um, it's one thing when you're asking the other person to order for you. If you're doing something, you're busy. And it's another thing when you just cannot make a decision for yourself. Or when you want other people to choose what you're going to wear, how you should be dressing, what kind of clothes you should be dressing, because you just cannot make those decisions for yourself. Where does it come from? It comes from lack of trust in ourselves. It comes from a closed heart. It comes from, I am not plugged into my soul. I don't know who I am. So I think you know better than uh, me. So that is lack of trust lack of confidence, not knowing who you really are, and start to depend on other people, creating that bond of codependency, uh, which is a very unhealthy bond. And that is where we start to turn against ourselves. People who have hard time making decisions usually feel very tired because it's almost like there's this energy leakage happening all day long. I don't know. I don't know what's right. I don't know what to do. Like that is the unconscious thought process that is going on. Another aspect of it is consciously we think if I made this decision, I'll I'll be the one to blame. I don't want to take any blame. I want to be safe. Uh, I don't want to be called the wrong person or the wrong guy or the wrong girl. So I'm going to be safe and I'm going to let this person take the blame if things don't work out. So a lot of time when we are making some big decisions, we go around um, decision shopping and we'll call our friends, we'll call our family and we'll ask other people, what do you think? What's your opinion? It's good to do that maybe like, you know, with a close group of people who you really think has have maybe gone through the similar situation. You can reach out to them. You can ask them, what was your decision process? We are always learning, expanding and growing but it is very different when you don't have that ability yourself and you just want somebody to make the decision for you so you can just blame it on them if things don't work out. I come from a uh, culture where there is still an element of arranged marriage where parents will pick the spouse for the other per person. And some people, they like that because if things don't work out, they could just blame their parents. You chose this person for me. I wasn't in it. So sometimes sometime it can have that negative impact in, in some cultural settings as well. Sometimes it could be a choice of going to a school. Um, again, we are going through that, that time period uh, here in the U.S. where kids are going to college and, you know, they're, they're choosing or they have already made the decision. Um, but sometimes they leave it on the parent to make that decision. So they don't have to carry the responsibility. So um, I know we have talked a lot about it. What is at the bottom of, I'm having a hard time making choices. Lack of responsibility for yourself, not owning yourself. And we, when you don't own yourself, that is when you have abandoned yourself and you have not reconnected with yourself, that creates a massive, massive, massive energy leak within you. That is when we feel lost in life. That is when we feel like we're just moving through the day, but we are, we are not grounded in it. We are not grounded in anything. We don't feel present with things. Because again, we're always worried about being in control, blaming somebody else, not owning ourselves, And one of the best gift you will give to yourself is start owning yourself. Let yourself take the risk. If, if it works out for you, amazing. If it doesn't work out for you, it's still amazing because it's going to help you tap into a different aspect of you. It's going to help you 
learn more about you. It's going to help you learn from life itself. There's so many people when it comes to dating or looking for marriage or even picking a career, they are trying to be so safe. They are looking at all the different possible things that could go wrong and then they sit with it and then they ponder over it. Then they ask the other person all the questions about it. What is that? They are trying to be safe. Yes, there is a general, of course, uh, you know, conscious level that we go through where we're just checking few things. But when you are hyper focused on trying to be safe and not trying to make a mistake, my friend, you're not going to enjoy that relationship. Relationships come in our life so they can expand us, so they can force us to grow. They don't come so we feel safe all the time. That is a stagnant relationship. That is not a relationship that is bringing the best out of you. How do we bring the best out of ourselves? We bring it when we get expanded. So as you're looking at your life and maybe you're like, well, I understand that how I have abandoned myself, how do I reconnect? How do I start making a decision? So underneath all of that is, I want to be perfect. The truth is, my friend, you are already perfect in your soul existence, but your physical body is never going to be perfect. You're in a human body. We are going to uh, take actions that people will label as mistakes because the outcome is not going to be what we wanted it to be, but outcome is always going to be what your soul need to expand into this physical body. Because we are so used to labeling things right and wrong. So what happened? We get paralyzed. We get stuck. We don't make any decision. We let other people make decisions for ourselves. And we just sit there, do nothing. That is a an extremely highly potential being, being wasted. It's okay, you can be that. It's okay, maybe that is what you're supposed to hear this time around. But if that bothers you, if you want to change that, allow yourself to make mistakes. One of the, one of the uh, you know, homework assignment I give to my clients when we get to this point, and if we can see they don't want to make any mistakes, I would tell them to make mistakes on purpose. Like um, the other day, I told one of my clients, when you go for grocery shopping, and if you don't want an item, just leave it anywhere in the grocery store. Don't go back to aisle 10 and put it on shelf too. Just leave it anywhere. Make that very tiny mistake. Let yourself be that tiny bit of imperfect and see how it feels. Let yourself feel that. And see how that feels. That is how we create room for ourselves to start to make decisions for ourselves. You are the only person who knows what's good for you. Given you are, of course, of certain age and you understand how this world works. Or you know the direction of your life that you're going into. I will say it again. You're the only person who knows what is good for you. If you think someone else knows better than you. That is, that is not the way to go. And you can, you can live with that. You can play it out, go like, you know, 10, 15 years and you'll see. One of the best gifts that my mentors have given me, they would give me advice, they would guide me, but then they have taught me really well. Alia, you're the only person who would know what to do. So I have become like, you know, this has become my habit right now that even if my mentor is saying something, I'll acknowledge it. But at the end of the day, I'll sit with myself and I'll ask myself, Alia, what do you want? And what does whatever Alia wants will always take priority over whatever someone else has said. If that ended up taking me into the deep end of the pool, that's fine. I will own it. I will embrace it and I'll grow through it. So allow yourself to make mistakes. Only then you're going to expand to the um, to the level of where your soul's power exists. It's way bigger, way more than whatever your limited human self can ever do. Allow yourself to have that gift. Now, if this is a dimension where you want to expand, 
and you want to heal your relationship with yourself, you can go to my website, aliajamalcoaching.com, and you can book a consultation with me. I would love to be your guide on the journey of healing your relationship with yourself. Or you can send me a DM if you're watching this on anywhere on social media. And I'm sending you so much love. I'll be back with the next two. And I will see you soon. Bye.